everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really just gonna be about a bunch of new home decor and showing you all how I style new items in my space. So our first matter of business is going to be unboxing a new lamp that I got. We're gonna see what we think of it together and then we're gonna actually head off to Home Goods and do a little shop with me, see what we can find in store because my best friend, she lives out in Phoenix, Arizona. She just bought her first home. So I wanna send her a little welcome home package and it's definitely gonna be a challenge to try to find some items that are impactful and pretty Pretty, but still like light and shippable. So we'll see how that goes, see what we can find over there. And then obviously I got some new gift cards. So we're gonna see what kind of fun things we can get for my space and come back home and style it. But yeah, it should be a fun, casual kind of shop with me, style with me video. So I'm excited to take you all along and without further ado, let's go unbox my new lamp. Okay, so this is the lamp and I bought this for our upstairs room, which I'm hoping to reveal to you guys within a month or two. There are just so many moving pieces when you do basically a living room makeover because that's really what it is. And we are doing a built-in up there, so that is taking forever because we are doing it by ourselves. So yeah, hopefully we'll have that soon, but that's what this is gonna be for. I have two Rugs USA lamps already in our bedroom and I love them. I got them for like 80 bucks each with a coupon and the scale of them is insane. They're really good at making a statement, so I'm hoping to do the same with this one. So it's kind of a rustic style lamp and I'm nervous to see it because online there was a million different pictures posted of it but I feel like in every picture the coloring looked different some of them it was super orange and then some it was more tan so I'm hoping that it will match our space up there so let's open it up and see hmm. this is the lamp shade okay the base is what I'm okay this is such a good color. Phew. Okay, I was scared it was gonna be too orange, but it's really like a perfect tan color here. Okay, so I got this guy for, I think it was $80, because I used a 20% off coupon, because sometimes you can use coupons for Rugs USA. So I did that, and oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so let's put it together. <laughs> Okay, so I brought it to the living room so you all could see it better. And I am just so happy with this. The fact that we have this aging detail with the little handles, vintage inspired lamps like this go for 300 plus dollars on designer websites, especially given the size of this, I cannot believe what a steal this was. So definitely gonna look really pretty in our upstairs room, but I love this lamp so much. I'm honestly debating putting it there and then putting this one upstairs. This is a DIY that I did a little while back. But this one's pretty too, and they're kind of roughly the same size, so I might just swap those, I don't know. But what do you guys think? Do you like it? I, I'm obsessed with the color. I really wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be more orange. Also, can we please just talk about how cute my dog is outside, loving her life, just soaking in the sun? I'm obsessed with her. Okay, so now that that's unboxed, feel good, love it. We are now going to go to Home Goods and possibly Tuesday morning to look for things for my friend. I'm excited because it's a Monday and I always try to avoid going to Home Goods on the weekends. So I feel like on the weekends I can't go there. And now that the weekend's over, I'm like, yay, I can go back there. But lately I feel like it's been crowded no matter what day it is. Is that the same for you all? I don't know. I feel like more people are working from home and their schedules are just more flexible. So anyway, we're gonna go check things out, see what we can find, see if there's any good deals. We're not going to limit ourselves to just my friend's box. You guys know this. Okay. So let's go head out there and see what we can find. Every time I leave, I give Kona a treat and I make her lay in her bed because look how cute that face is. Okay. There you go. Enjoy. Okay, so one thing that I noticed when I first walked in was the huge selection of pots and planters. And in my opinion, Home Goods has some of the best prices around when it comes to planters. And I always try to look for ones with a little bit of an aged detail on them, whether that's a whitewashed terracotta or more like an aged concrete look. I think that when planters have a worn texture like this, it really helps add depth and character to your decor. So they also had a bunch of really cute smaller ones that were under $10 that would be great for growing little herbs and placing them in your kitchen or near a windowsill or something like that. 
They also had a couple of really cute arrangements that were already in a vase and they were all under $20. So that was really nice. Just something to pop on a shelf or a desk or something like that. So something that I was surprised to see was the huge selection of faux and dried stems. I feel like Home Goods usually isn't my go-to place for stems, but right now they had almost half of an aisle full of really gorgeous ones. And I will say the majority were dried stem arrangements, but I really liked that most of them had a little punch of color, but were still overall really natural and neutral looking and that they're already arranged for you. So all you have to do is just pop them into a vase. Another aisle I almost all always check is the cutting board aisle and I feel like you can just never have too many cutting boards. My husband would definitely disagree with that statement but I just think they're always great to have on hand for last minute gifts and they're just always so affordable here and we're always chopping something when it comes to mealtime so it's just nice to have them on hand. I also just like to peruse the bakeware to see if there's anything that I have to have. I've been looking for a little brie baker just to heat up baked brie in so I wanted to check and see if there was anything that was the right size. This is also the spot to buy ramekins. I use these a lot for dipping sauces, desserts, and eating snacks out of. One of my other favorite aisles is the bathroom section. Here I always like to look for trays because they're so versatile and you can use them in other spots around your home, not just the bathroom. So I feel like these are perfect for organizing decor items and just making your styling look a lot more intentional. So definitely like to check out what they have here in terms of trays. And I just feel like this is a spot in the store where you can really find some unique decor pieces that have a lot of personality. So whether that's a mirror with a unique design, a really pretty glass soap dispenser, or agate decor just to add an extra material into your styling, I feel like you can always find something really cool in here. I also just like to keep an eye out for larger furniture or accent pieces because you never know what you're going to find and this dough bowl was so huge and honestly such a good price at $200. Similar antique ones this size can go for thousands of dollars. So this would obviously be for a very large scale space but I was very surprised to see one here. They also had these really pretty arched ladders that would be perfect on an empty wall in a bathroom, living room, or bedroom. And then I also spotted these lamps which were a total dupe for the Angelo Rattan lamp at Urban Outfitters, which is priced at $100, while these ones were only $40 and they looked almost exactly the same. They also had some really pretty furniture pieces. I absolutely love the gorgeous lines of these Sherpa accent chairs. And then they also had an upholstered striped chair that really reminded me of the one that I bought for my desk in our bedroom. I got mine here last year from Home Goods for a hundred bucks. These are very similar, but a little bit more taupey in color. And because we actually had so much success on this trip, we're actually gonna skip going to Tuesday morning and go back home and do a little styling haul. All right, so now that we're back from Home Goods, I just wanna show you all a little styling montage of all the things I got and how I'm going to use them in my space. So we're gonna do that and then we'll probably reconvene and I'll show you some of the fun things that I found for my friends. So yeah, let's start the styling. Okay, so one of the pieces that I could not pass up in the store was this really gorgeous marble mosaic Lazy Susan. And I love finding pieces that have something unique about them. And I love that this was made of a timeless classic material, but was constructed in such an unusual way. So it was 30 bucks and I loved how sturdy it was since I tend to overload my Lazy Susans with stuff, but I tried it out on my table and it was actually a little bit smaller than the one that I currently have, which I did not realize. So I still wanted to have the biggest one possible on my table. So I came up with another solution for it. Our liquor cabinet had just been really disorganized for a while. And I thought that if I were to clean it out and put everything on a lazy Susan, that it would just make such a better use of this space since I wouldn't have to be reaching all the way to the back and rummaging around to find something. This way I can just easily turn the lazy Susan to make everything accessible and visible. Next, I came across this really pretty bowl. I was drawn to it because of the slight distress on the sides and the price. I think that it was previously a footed bowl because there were little indents on the bottom and the piece was marked as is, but I thought this would actually make a really cute fruit bowl with the unique ombre coloring of the wood. So I just added some lime bowl filler to it and I absolutely love how it just gives our countertop a really fresh look. And I also thought of another fun styling idea would be just to stack it with another bowl of a similar size and just use that as shelf styling decor also. 
So another thing that I was super excited to find at HomeGoods were these lidded baskets. So the larger one was $60 and the smaller one was 50, but they were both a really good size and were total dupes for the Serena and Lily La Jolla baskets. So I figured that these were just a really good investment all around because the seagrass material can add a really nice earthy texture to any room and hidden decorative storage is just always a good practical useful idea. So I just use them to fill up this empty space Space that we had in our bay window and these are going to be perfect for storing my dog's toys extra camera equipment and just whatever else i need to store for my little desk workstation area Okay, so next up I found this really pretty tub tray. It was only $25, which is great for a large solid tray. And if you all remember, I previously used a dough bowl that I found as a tub tray in my bathroom restyling video, but I had ended up actually moving that to my mantle. So I figured it was a good idea to get another one. So I brought it home and I laid it over the tub and it was just a tad big, but I'm thinking I can just chop the ends off with our saw for a little bit of a better fit. But I love tub trays because not only are they really a aesthetic and spa-like, but they also give you the opportunity to add a little pop of greenery on top, which automatically makes a space feel more relaxing in my opinion. And I just love how practical this is because it's the perfect spot to rest a book, food, or an iPad, you know, whatever, while soaking in the tub. And it just makes the decor feel a lot more intentional. I also too just wanted to show you all that I decided to swap out the lamp just while we're working on the upstairs area. I'll eventually bring it up there, but I thought I could just appreciate it here in the spot for now. Okay, so now it's time to show you all the items that I couldn't necessarily style, but I'm still really excited about. So I got this super cute little aged concrete planter. I loved the little scallop detail on this. That's what sold me. I thought that was just so unique and charming. This guy was $8.99 and why I can't really show you it styled is because I wanna use it for some cooking herbs. Um, I figured it was the perfect size for that, but I don't have any to plant in it right now. So I figured maybe it'd be cute on my countertop or just kind of layered outside with my other planters, maybe on my coffee table, on my outdoor patio, lots of places this one can go. I actually bought two of them, so um, I'll see where I end up putting them, but I just really love the look of this. I also got this really cute candle. It is the brand Oak and Rye, and the scent is tobacco, but what sold me is this really cute little tassel. And this one's just kind of, I don't know, like woodsy, oaky, tobacco-y. The scent is called tobacco, but I just thought it was really pretty and it was only $6.99, which I thought was pretty good for a three wick candle. Okay, so this next item I was so excited to find and this was the last one that I bought for me and then we'll move on to my friend's stuff. But I found these really pretty um, handmade ceramic bowls. And I've been looking for something like this for a long time that's like, half plate, half bowl. So you can do kind of like a chipotle style bowl in it with like chicken and rice and beans, or we do like rice and meatballs a lot. So I figured like this would be a really good thing to have because sometimes when you have a plate, the rice just goes everywhere. But I figured this is perfect for rice bowls. So this is handmade in Portugal. In the store, I was looking at them all and they all have little imperfections. And I love that you can totally tell that they're handmade. And they were $7.99 each, which I know is a little pricey, but I just loved the uniqueness of them. I bought four and I think we'll really get some good use out of them. And I've been looking for something like this for a really long time. So I just pulled the trigger because I really, really love these. Okay, so my friend's stuff. It was really hard to find things that were small, light, non-breakable, that weren't kitchen items. So a lot of these are just kitchen things, which that's fine because I know she does a lot of cooking, so. Hopefully she'll get some good use out of them. But yeah, I got this really pretty set of hot pads. These were $7. I got one for myself also. <laughs> I think I have problems, honestly. I will say I did have some gift cards, so I used those. But yeah, I thought this was really pretty. I like to hang my hot pads just right off of my drawer poles, so they're almost kind of like a piece of decor. So hopefully she'll get some good use out of these. And I think that they're really aesthetic and just really cute and can go with lots of different styles or colors or whatever she decides to do with her kitchen. So liked these. I also got this really pretty kind of just organic olive wood cutting board. This was only $10 and I felt like 
You know, who doesn't love a good cutting board? When I come over, you can make me cheese and crackers, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I just thought that this was really pretty. I liked the shape of it. I felt like it was really unique. I kind of wanted to have a fun little curated box where it felt like everything that I got was one of a kind. So I really like this and I think she'll get some good use out of it. You could even display it if you wanted to. You could use this maybe as a riser if you wanted to put like a vase on top. That could be really pretty. So definitely a lot of good uses for it. I love how it kind of has like a natural crack in the middle. I think that that looks really pretty and natural. So yeah, I hope she likes this. And then I just got her some oven mitts. Um, these were $6.99 and I felt like they paired pretty well with this. So if she wants to hang them on her drawer poles together that they would coordinate nicely. So just thought they were pretty and neutral and who doesn't love a nice new clean pair of oven mitts, you know? And then I also found these really pretty kind of organic shaped olive spoons. These were $6.99 for a set of two and I don't know, I just thought that again, it was a really unique piece and if you put these in a kitchen crock that it would really just elevate the look of it, but they're practical at the same time because you can use them for soup or you know baking or whatever. So I thought that they would be another fun, unique piece to add and they kind of matched this, which I thought was kind of cute. So everything coordinates a little bit. I think I might add a candle into the box too, but yeah, hopefully she can find some good uses for these. So yeah, I did want to also tell you all that my Cooper's ice plant that I planted a couple videos ago that was dying and not doing well is thriving. She is flowering and it looks so good out there. So I just wanted to update you guys. I think a big thing was it needed shade, which was weird because it said full sun on the tag, but Clearly she needed some shade. So I moved her in the patio. I put her next to my olive tree. So the olive tree kind of blocks the sun and she sits right there. So I think that that was the key if you guys have one of your own. But yeah, that really wraps up this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to grow and support my channel. So I wanna thank you all again so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.